This is part two of a tutorial on how to create an enclosure for your USB power supply. So I started off with the base plate and your transformer is going to sit here and then down here will be your circuit board and eventually your USB outlet or female plug will fit right here. So to start off with I just got to remember the size of this. So this was two inches across here and this is three inches there and this was a quarter of an inch rounded all the way around. So what I'm going to do is start a new file this time. So I'm going to go File, New, this will be my second part, and I'm going to call this the Enclosure. Okay, to hide everything. So I start up a new file, and now I'm just going to basically draw a new part. So I'm going to click on the top view, and this time I'm going to go to Extrude first, and it comes up with the same menu and the same um, tools. And I'm going to click on the Sketch view, so I can draw it straight. And up here, the Rectangle tool, I'm going to do Center Rectangle, and just like before, click on and make my basic rectangle. Click the select tool, change the size to 2 across here and change this to 3. Okay, so now I have my 2 by 3 like before and this time I'm going to click OK. What's going to happen now is it creates an actual box. Now your box might vary the height or that, but up here this is the height of the box. So I can change this to 1.25 for example or I can grab the little white here and I could drag it the height that I want it okay or I could just select in here and actually change it so I'm gonna go back to about 1.25 you know yours is gonna vary between one and a half to one and three quarters of an inch high so once I've got my basic box done I click OK now I have my basic box I'm gonna hit control D to kinda of reorientate it okay so now what I'm gonna do is add curves or corners or rounds to all the edges so in this case I'm gonna select round and I'm going to hold on the control key and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click every surface okay and as I click each edge okay it's going to highlight and again continuing to hold the control key down when I do this okay and now I've selected all the edges I don't want to select the bottom one but all the outside ones now once I've selected them I'm going to change this round to 0.25 or a quarter of an inch and what it does is rounds all the edges okay you can change this to whatever you want but as long as these outside ones match your bottom piece so that when you fit it together it works all fine. So once I've got them all done I'm going to hit the OK or the select thing and now it's here. Now you notice how there's all this stuff in the way and there's all these planes and that. I can come up to this here the datum plane display filters and I can turn everything off. And All I'm left with now is the object. The other thing I can do is select up here I can select shade, shading with edges and it actually gives me some edges to look at. Okay. So now I've got my basic shape. Now what I need to do is, is hollow it out or shell it out. So what I'm going to do is simply click on the top surface so it's dark green. So I clicked, let me click again. I'm going to click once to highlight everything in outline green and then I'm going to click again and it highlights it in dark green, the whole surface. That's what I'm going to work with. And I'm going to take this one called shell and I'm going to click on it. And it hollows it out and it tells me how thick it is here. And I'm going to take this thickness to 0.125 that's an eighth of an inch thick and I'm gonna hit like that and click OK so now my entire box is an eighth of an inch thick which gives it a bit, a bit of strength when I 3D print it okay and then I'm gonna click OK so basically now I've created my enclosure right I got a few other things to add to it I gotta add the hole for the USB in that so I'm gonna do that now actually so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorientate it so I'm looking at maybe the front okay like that now it's kind of hard to sometimes get straight on so you can come up to the AB here and I'm going to go to let's say what happens with the right well there's the right so therefore if I go to left it's going to go all the way around so if I go to um, front it'll switch to the front and I'm going to zoom in and I click on this surface again once and then once again with the left mouse button and it goes dark green and then I'm going to click on extrude and it's going to highlight and go back to this view and I'm going to draw the cutout for the actual USB. So once again, go back to my center rectangle tool. I'm going to click in the center here, and I'm just going to make it a, a size, click the select tool, and let's say, and I don't know the actual answer, but let's say it's 0.5, and you'll have to measure this with calipers, and let's say that the height is actually uh, 0.25 or a quarter of an inch, Okay, and again, you have to measure that with calipers. I don't know the answer. And the final number, which is a bit trickier, is how high from the base through the circuit board 
is the height of the hole. So this might be, you know, my guess might be it might be 2.25. And again, you have to measure yours. And I'm going to adjust the height of it. Okay, so there's the slot. And I click on OK. And now what's going to happen is it's going to protrude out. So up here, there is two tools. One is change the depth direction. The other one is remove material. So I'm going to remove material. I'm going to change the direction. And now you can see it puts a hole in there. And I'm going to click on the OK button. Okay, and now I have my case. Okay, my enclosure. There's the hole for the USB. And there it's hollowed out. And I'm going to stop there now and then give you part three. So I'm going to click on Save to save my part. And I'm going to stop it right now.